word teens June 2020 Whoever welcomes you welcomes me and whoever welcomes me welcomes the one who sent me Matthew chapter 10 verse 40 In this chapter of the gospel of Matthew we learn how Jesus chose the 12 apostles and sent them out to preach his message to everyone Do you know the names of the 12 apostles Jesus chose? All Christians have the same mission as the first disciples. We have to tell everyone about Jesus. First, with the example of our lives and then also with our words. We have to give witness to the love that God has for us so that Everyone can have the same joy in their hearts. Show everyone the beauty of living like true brothers and sisters. In a society where everyone aims at success and thinks only of themselves, Christians are called to show the beauty of living like a family. whose members see the needs of one and other and set into motion reciprocal love and since we have been welcomed by god with all our limitations we have to give witness to others by warmly welcoming each person in the same way jesus was a perfect example of how god the father welcomes each person with love he also showed us how we should love one another since god loved us so much who did jesus welcome and love let us try to live this word of life especially in our families our parishes our schools our sports events Let's get rid of any prejudice, discrimination, resentment, intolerance. These attitudes can block our relationships with others, lead to rejecting some people, or even bullying. The wheels of mutual love will get rusty or stop altogether. Welcoming the other person, especially someone who is different from us, is basically what Christian love is all about. It's the first step that will create a civilization of love, a world where everything is shared. This is what Jesus wants us to do today in particular. Experiences from around the world. Here's an experience of art from Brazil. It made me very sad to see that many of the teens in my school only think about themselves. They don't even make the effort to say hello to anyone. Hi, how are you? I decided to take the first step and I made some friends. I also noticed one boy in particular who looked very unhappy. He didn't talk to anyone. I started to talk to him and one day he confided in me. He said that he was desperate and even though he was wealthy, something was missing in his life. He searched for the truth in books and wondered how someone could believe in God when there is so much suffering in the world. Since he could not find any answers, he even contemplated committing suicide. I assured him that he could count on me. To make him feel needed, my friends and I asked him for his help in some of our subjects. He started to feel better. He often asked me questions about faith 
and so one day, I invited him to a meeting of the Teens for Unity. At the end of the meeting, he told us, This is the first time I met all of you, but you gave me the answer I was looking for. God is love, and when we love other people, He is within us. He had been raised a Catholic, so he went to confession and started going to Mass again after a long time. He told me, you and your friends saved my life. What are you waiting for? Let's start living the word.